and we are live on Facebook as well. So welcome everyone. Welcome to the weekly live coaching session with me, Kelly McHugh. I'm the founder of Digital Yoga Academy. Thank you so much for joining me on Instagram. So if you're joining on Instagram, do say hello and let me know where you're watching from and the same on Facebook as well. So if you're joining in the Facebook group or on the Facebook Digital Yoga Academy business page, then please say hello and let me know where you're watching from. You're joining me here for the weekly live session. I do this every single week, every Tuesday. I'm here on Instagram and also on Facebook to um, talk about a business and marketing topic, okay, that's related to you as a yoga teacher. So always here to help you guys to um, find a way to easily understand some marketing concepts that you can use in your yoga business, okay? So today, today we're talking about copywriting. So today we're talking about copywriting and the three principles of compelling copywriting for yoga teachers. So copywriting is something that you'll be doing in your business that allows you to promote what you're doing. So to promote your classes and to promote your events and your retreats, um, but also to share your knowledge, to share your, um, to share what you're passionate about when it comes to yoga, to share your knowledge about yoga with your students and potential students online. So copywriting is super important to you as a yoga teacher and it's probably something that you perhaps don't think about. However, it might be something that sometimes you feel quite stuck and we've all heard of writer's block, right? We've all heard of writer's block. Um, so actually that relates to how you go about creating your copy. Okay. So today in today's training, in today's coaching call, I'm going to be giving you some, um, some pointers around how to create compelling copy. Okay. How to, how to, um, to uh, create compelling copywriting that you can use in your yoga business. And copywriting really is, you know, one of the most essential elements of effective digital marketing, okay? And you're here because you're learning about digital marketing and how you can use it effectively um, in your yoga business, okay? So it's actually, copywriting is actually the art of strategically delivering words that get people to take action. Okay, I'll say that again. Copywriting is the art of strategically delivering words that get people to take action. Okay, and there really is power in compelling copy. Okay, there really is power. So it's the words that you use in your blog posts. It's the words that you use in your emails, your email newsletters. It's also the words that you can use on your sales pages. So if you're promoting um, retreats or online programs, those website pages that help you to promote those things and put those offerings out there, okay, it's the words you use on that page that will help people to take action, okay? And, you know, it's the headlines that you use on your website, it's the social media posts, all of these words is called copy okay so this is this is uh, copywriting okay so um, these are essentially the words that sell okay they're the words that sell okay and copy is short for copywriting but it just refers to the words that you use each and every day to communicate and to persuade now Unlike um, news copy, so copy that you would read on a, a news site or um, editorial copy, um, copywriting really is about getting the reader to take action. So I've already said that it's the it's the art of it's the art of strategically delivering words that get people to take action. Okay, and your ideal students. So I talked about your ideal students last week and how you go about 
finding your ideal students and really focusing in and um, finding that laser focus on who your ideal student is. And really today's training kind of follows on from that because once you've found out, once you've really identified who your ideal student is, you want to talk to them in a way that's going to resonate and connect with them, okay? And that's where compelling copywriting really comes in, okay? So it's really super important and these two, um, these two elements really Really work together so if you didn't watch the um, training that I did last week around how to laser focus find that laser focus on your ideal student then please head to the Facebook Digital Yoga Academy Facebook page catch up on that and then um, also you know have another listen to what I'm talking about today because it really does flow on from last week's training and your ideal students they are looking for a transformation through yoga and your job really is to share your vision of that transformation to encourage them to take action okay remember what I just said copy Copywriting is the, is the art of strategically delivering words that, that encourage people to take action, okay? And you want your ideal students to take action with you, okay? You want them to want to, or you want them to make that decision to work with you and for you to become their teacher and for them to become your student, okay? And you do this. You do this through the words that you use on your website and on your social media posts and so on. So it's the words that you use in your business that help people to really connect with you and your yoga brand, okay? So it's really, really important. So I'm just gonna check in and see who's joined me on Facebook now. So if you're joining me on Facebook, I see some people are watching on the page and also in the group. Say hello, and again, also on Instagram. If you're just joining, you're joining me, Kelly McHugh, I'm the founder of Digital Yoga Academy, here every week to deliver a live training and coaching session. And today we're talking about copywriting. So I'm gonna to talk to you about the three principles of uh, compelling copywriting for yoga teachers okay so um, so yeah so this stuff is really important it's important for your business and you know if you're already if you've already got a website and you're already sharing um, posts on social media and you're already writing copy then you know you're you're already doing this you're already doing this but the great thing about copywriting is that you can learn how to be a good copywriter who writes compelling copy, okay? So you're already a copywriter if you are writing, if you're writing for your website, if you're um, writing for social media and your email newsletters, but maybe you're feeling a little bit uninspired or maybe you're feeling stuck when you, with the words that you're putting out there, maybe you get a case of writer's block, okay? Well, the good news is that you can actually learn how to be a good copywriter that writes compelling copy, okay? So you can totally, totally learn how to be smarter about the words that you use in your business so that it sounds like you, okay? And it also makes your students want what you have to offer, okay? And that's really important. It, it makes your students want to take action with what you're putting out there. So it makes them want to, you know, they connect to you so much, they resonate with you as a teacher that they want to book your workshop or they want to book your retreat or, you know, they want to enroll on your online course and learn with you more, okay? Does that make sense? Okay, so give me some feedback, guys. Um, as we go through today's training, um, I always love to get your feedback and to know if this is making sense to you, if this is resonating with you, and also how you feel about writing copy at the moment, okay? Let me know, type in Instagram or Facebook. How do you feel about it? Do you feel a little bit um, stuck, writer's block, uninspired? How are you feeling when, you're, when it comes to actually sitting down at your laptop and writing copy for, for your business? This is such an important part of digital marketing okay so um so yeah so Rupesh says looking forward to know those three points yeah I'm coming on to them setting the scene Rupesh uh, thank you for that okay so we know that there is power in um in writing compelling copy and I want you to ask yourself something now have you ever been on somebody's website or you've read a social media post and you just thought oh my gosh where have you been all my life? This is exactly what I need right now. 
okay ask yourself that you know you've been someone you're like oh it really feels like this person really understands me because that is the power of compelling copy and you really can't succeed without it okay every day that you put off learning how to create compelling copy you're not serving those students those ideal students that need you as their yoga teacher and what you have to offer okay and there's a lot of people in the world that are still yet to discover yoga and if you're not con connecting with them and converting those potential students into your students then you're really missing out in bringing extra income into your business so i want you to think about that okay have a think about that now i'm just going to give you a little exercise if you've got a pen and paper write this down this is something that i want you to do after today's training okay i want you to find a piece of copy that you've already written so it could be a social media post it could be a paragraph from a blog post or a section of your website and i just want you to write it out okay i want you to write it out to start with okay and then and I want you to have a think about all the places that require you to to place compelling copies. So I've talked about you know your website, social media. Are there any other places that you have to write copy? And it doesn't necessarily have to be online either. Okay. So a couple of things there for you to take away after today's training is to just to really think about those two things. Okay. So let's move on. Let's move on to the three principles of compelling copy. Okay. Now I've already touched on it a little bit, but there's actually a big difference between writing copy and writing effective compelling copy okay compelling copy okay so kind of expanding on our definition now of um, copywriting but compelling copywriting is writing that works really well is really effective in driving action okay so this could be action the action that it could be might be signing up for your latest opt-in freebie okay on your website so when someone comes and lands on your website they they're not just signing up to a newsletter because that's very wishy-washy we don't do that okay we 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 ask people to sign up for a freebie that we've created a valuable piece of content that we've created and we ask them to sign up to that okay so we need compelling copy to drive them to take action so that they give us their email address and to get hold of our amazing freebie that we've created for them okay so Another um, another thing that we might want them to do is we want them to book a yoga retreat. So again, we need compelling copy on our website that's going to really help to drive that action, which is, of course, the booking of our yoga retreat. OK, now to drive this action, to drive this action, firstly, you need to understand who your ideal student is. OK, so that goes back to the training I did last week. So if you didn't listen to that, if you didn't catch that, you need to check in on that. OK, because you need to understand who your ideal student is so that you can write copy that really speaks to them. OK, <clears throat> does that make sense? Does that make sense, guys? I hope it does. It should do. It should make sense. You want you want to attract the right people in your business. You want to attract the right students. So you need to really understand who they are. And I talked about this in great detail last week in last week's training. So head to the Digital Yoga Academy Facebook page and you can catch up on that. Okay. So you need to um, you also need to offer your ideal students a unique benefit that makes you different from all of the other yoga teachers that are out there and really tells them that you are the teacher for them okay now i really believe in this you know there's there's a lot to go around there's a lot of potential students out there there are a lot of people in this world who are yet to discover yoga there's a lot to go around but you need to make it really clear to why you're different what is the unique benefit of working with you that will really tell your student your ideal student your potential student why you're the teacher for them okay so things like you know testimonials or stories from existing students are a really great way to um, to encourage your readers to take action and also to support you know your call to action so your call to action is the thing that you want them to do sign up for my freebie book my yoga retreat whatever it might be okay guys so I can see more people are joining on Instagram say hello let me know where you're watching from also on uh, Facebook as well I love to I love to know where you're watching from guys okay so 
moving on <laughs> okay so we want them to take action okay we want them to your copy needs to really support them to do that okay and it really is that's an essential goal of your copy is to tell people exactly what they need to do and why they should do it right now okay and you know, once you've figured out what you want to say, which will require some research and, and thought on your part and you know, some creativity and some time, then you need to work out how to say it. And one of the um, classic, this isn't a, cl a classic formula now that I'm going to share with you, and you've probably heard of it or you may have heard of it. So one of the classic copywriting formulas that you can use as a guideline for creating compelling copy is called ADA. Has anyone heard of this? ADA. A-I-D-A. -A. Anyone heard of this? If you have, let me know. <laughs> let me know if you've heard of this, this uh, formula for creating copy. Um, it's a marketing formula, essentially. It's a marketing formula. And let me tell you what it stands for, okay? So A is attention, okay? So this could be with um, your post copy um, or the headline. So you want an attention-grabbing headline that's going to draw them in, first of all, okay? So that's the A. And then we've got I, which is which is interest, okay? So you want to engage their mind with unusual or fresh information, okay? You want to, you want to really cultivate that interest with the copy that you're using. Next up is the D, which is desire, okay? So here you want to engage their heart so that they want what you're offering. So again, this is really, really interesting because you need to know about your ideal student, which I've already mentioned. And then A, so the A for Ada is action. So you ask them, you ask them to take action. So you're really clear in telling them what you want to do. Okay, it's a really simple and effective um, formula for creating your copy, okay? It's a very simple formula and it's used in marketing. It has been for a very, very long time. So it's one to have a think about and consider. And you can just use this now in conjunction with the three principles that I'm gonna share with you right now, okay? So this is the topic of today's training. We're getting there now. Um, so set the scene around copywriting and why it's important in your business. Um, but there are three three principles of you know writing compelling copy and I want you to use these principles in conjunction with Ada which is what I've just outlined for you now okay so principle number one is copy that's clear and concise okay so does your copy have to be clear yes does it have to be concise absolutely absolutely okay because clarity will really ensure that your message is easily digestible, which is super important if you want the words to be read and you want them to be understood easily, okay? So you want you, your copy really needs to be concise and needs to be super clear. That said, the clearest, most con concise copy ever written, you know, if it's still, you don't want it to be flat. It still has to be compelling so that your readers act, so that your students take action, okay? But you want your um, copy to be, you want it to fascinate your student in a way that will drive them to take action, okay? So let me just um, kind of explain to you now what I mean by this, by clarity, okay? So what clutters up copy? The opposite to clarity is kind of, cluttered copy okay and cluttered copy is one of the biggest mistakes when you can you can make when creating copy okay because when reading cluttered copy you usually can't find what you're looking for because there's all sorts of information that's been included now you may have heard the term flowery writing okay so people that are flowery writers tend to write for England. They just write long paragraphs, long sentences, and it can become very cl cluttered and it's definitely not clear. Okay, so I want you to have a look at the copy now. And remember that exercise that I gave you before. I want you to have a look at your copy that you've that you've written down from that exercise. And just have a look at the big words that you can change 
in in favor for smaller words so for exa for example instead of using the word utilize we'll use the word use okay instead of using the word indicative of you could try a sign of or instead of using the words attain how about get okay so really just look at the words that you're using and see if you can change the big words for smaller words to cut down to cut it down and then look at where you're using unnecessary words okay so are there any words and i promise you you will be using unnecessary words in your copy are there any words that you can just strike out for, from a sentence without actually changing the meaning of that sentence so if if there are they are unnecessary words and i just want you to cut them out okay when you spend a little bit of time doing this you'll probably find that a paragraph that has four or five sentences is actually reduced down to a paragraph that has two or three sentences and that's what you want to aim for okay if the paragraph still has the same message that's what you want to aim for okay does that make sense to you guys does that make sense for those that are watching so let me know give me some feedback as we go through as we go through this okay so being concise is really you know key with your content is really key with your content especially when you're writing blog posts okay because people have short attention spans and they don't really want to sift through your blog post to find the information they need they want it right there and then okay so keep in mind that you know blog posts are more effective when they're at least 1500 words Okay, so you should just be really careful, you know, of adding kind of filler copy or unactionable writing just to make your blog post longer. Okay, readers are, you know, readers of blog articles are typically scanning for information and they typically just read around 20% of the copy that's on the page. So you just want to share your strongest points. You want to share your strongest points at the top of the page and then chunk your content to make it more scannable by breaking it into manageable sections, okay? So in a nutshell with this, with principle number one, which is about creating clear copy, clear and concise copy, in a nutshell, you want to use short, simple words that anyone can understand, cut out any words you don't need, okay? And remember that clarity always beats cleverness. <laughs> write that down. <laughs> Clarity always beats cleverness. Okay, so that's principle number one. And to follow on from the exercise that I gave you earlier, which was to find some copy that you've already created. Now I want you to rewrite that piece of copy that you wrote earlier on to make it more clear and concise. Okay, so let's move on to copy uh, principle number two, which is copy that resonates okay so just having a look here joe joe says so short snappy sentences and if need be cut longer sentences into two perfect exactly that you hit the nail on the head okay so principle number two is copy that resonates okay so this is all about you know using words that strike a chord with your ideal students and generate that oh you've read my mind or oh, I really need to have this now, or I really need to enroll on this course now, I really need to book this yoga retreat now, okay? So the most effective copywriting, okay, listen very carefully, the most effective copywriting starts in your ideal student's head. <laughs> <laughs> the most effective copywriting starts in your ideal student's head, not yours, okay? So this is why you really need to understand who your ideal student is. And a, the common mistake that people make with their writing is that it's too self-centered, okay? They focus on what they think is important instead of focusing on what their customers, or in your case, your ideal students think is important, okay? So to create copy that resonates, you should talk to your ideal student by first, by first describing their problem, so write this down, by first describing their problem, and then secondly, showing them that you understand their journey, 
okay? So describe their problem and then show them that you understand their journey. And this is going to help you, this method is going to help you to connect with the types of students that you want to teach because that's what we want as a yoga teacher, right? We want, we want the types of students that, that, that we want to teach, that resonate with what we have to offer, that will come back week after week because they resonate with you as a yoga teacher and they connect with you, okay? So there's a match, there's a match. So, you know, a really important place to do this is on the homepage of your website, okay? I did a whole training on the homepage of your website, okay, and what you need on it to connect with, your, with new visitors who could be completely new eyes to your business. So head to the Digital Yoga Academy Facebook page, go to videos and find that training if you need some help with... Um, if you need some help with the homepage, with the homepage of your website. Uh, but it could be just, you know, a few paragraphs that makes it really clear to your website visitor that they are in the right place, okay? And that what you have to offer them is for them, okay? Because you're talking their talk, and that's what all this is about. You're talking their talk. You tell them, you're telling them that you understand their journey, yeah, you, that you understand their journey, that you understand their struggles, and that you know you can help them to get the transformation that they're looking for. All of this is going to help you to resonate with your your ideal students. And this is the second principle of writing compelling copy. Okay, so I have a another little uh, exercise for you on this. Okay, so write this down, guys. So another little exercise that will help you to write a uh, copy that resonates. Okay, I want you to ask yourself. What are the top three struggles that my ideal students are facing right now? Okay. So maybe, you know, maybe it's that they don't know what to expect at their first ever yoga class because they're a beginner and you teach yoga for beginners. Or maybe it's because they're struggling to maintain their home practice and you're creating an online program that will help them to practice yoga at home. Okay, so have a think about this. What are the top three struggles that your ideal students are facing? And if you don't know, I want you to start asking your students. Ask the regular students that come week after week. You know, send out a survey. Start using poll features on Instagram stories and start collecting some information about this because it's so important. It will help you to start to understand who your ideal student is, okay? And then once you've done that, I want you to go back to that piece of copy that you've already rewritten to make it more clear and concise. And now I want you to rewrite it, okay, to ensure that it resonates with your ideal students, okay? So you're going to use some of this information that you've gathered around your ideal student and you're going to add that to your piece of copy, okay? Okay, so that's principle number two. So we've had principle number one is to write copy that's clear and concise. Principle number two is to write copy that resonates. And then lastly, pr principle number three is to create copy that's authentic, okay? Now, there's a lot of talk about, you know, being authentic or, or finding your authentic teaching voice and authenticity, especially in the social media world. There's a lot of talk around this. It's definitely a buzzword and not just, not just in yoga, okay? So... You know, just as um, just as finding your authentic voice, you know, can be a process, I guess, of um, your teaching experience. Definitely a process of your teaching experience and time. Okay, because it takes time to find your authentic voice as a teacher. Tapping into your, I, I guess, your authentic self when it comes to writing online and putting yourself out there online can be a little bit daunting. Does everyone agree with this? Can it be a little bit daunting? Tapping into the authenticity to be authentic with the copy that you're creating for social media or for your website. You know, I, I know that there are fears around being visible and putting yourself out there, being under the spotlight, and I guess being vulnerable as well, being a little bit vulnerable. So does this does this resonate with any of you guys that are watching today? Does this kind of feel um, 
Am I going a lot on the right lines with this? I, I think I am. I think I am. From what I hear with yoga teachers in our community, it can be a little bit daunting, okay? Um, but this is just really about, you know, writing copy that sounds like you, okay? Writing copy that comes from your mouth, that sounds like you, yeah? And, you know, it's just about finding your true voice and putting that out there online and then getting your ideal students to love what you have to say and what you have to offer, okay? So, you know, when you can do this, your audience, your audience online or your students that are following you, when they can feel that you're really being authentic, they that's when they truly start to trust you, okay? It's when they truly start to connect with you and they really will become your biggest fans. So this is why this last principle is super important in terms of building the trust factor and building a really loyal fan base. Does this make sense to you guys? Um, you know, so, you know, being authentic will enable you to um, really be successful in terms of you know getting your emails opened or getting engagement on your social media posts so what I want you to think about is this you know using words that you actually use in real life and we've actually kind of touched on this a little bit but just you know no one likes jargon or just being overly complicated or overly clever with the words that you use so just use the words that you actually use when you talk, okay? And one of the best ways to do this is not actually to write the copy, but to say it, to say it. So if you struggle in this area, what I want you to do is just record yourself. You can use your phone, there's a recorder on your phone, most phones, or just get a, rec a digital recorder and talk about what makes your yoga offering special, okay? Just talk. Talk about it. Talk about what you're passionate about. Talk about the things that you want to share and then type it up, okay? Type it up because you actually want to sound like you're talking to a friend. You actually want to sound like you're talking to a friend. So that's one way to start being a bit more authentic with the words that you're using online is just to use, really focus on using the words that you use in real life. And if you struggle with that, Record yourself, type it up, okay? Another way to uh, be more authentic is to, is to share a personal story, is to share a personal story. Now, people love stories. So, you know, what do you talk about when you're talking to a friend? You can just share a personal experience, maybe write it in a blog post, um, you know, maybe, you know, look at how you can weave in a personal story into your email newsletters, because that's a really great way to bring your email to life and to humanize the experience for the people who are reading your emails. It's a really great way to, um, you know, to, to do that is to see how you could weave in and, you know, make it relatable to the content that you're putting into your email newsletter or into your social media post. To start with a personal story is a really great way to encourage that engagement. Um, it's also a really good way to show your readers or your ideal students how you've been in their shoes, okay? So quite often, the things that we share as a yoga teacher are things that we've experienced ourselves and that we've found transformation ourselves. So you've actually been in the shoes of your students. Talk about it, don't shy away from it. You know, telling people, I was where you are now, and through yoga, I've been able to tr find that transformation, and this is where I am now. So, and I can help you on this journey because I've experienced it. I've been in your shoes. It's a really, really great way to show that you've that you've gone through this experience and to be authentic because you're sharing something that's actually happened to you. Okay, so it's not a fib, it's something that actually happened to you. You're sharing your experience as you would with a friend. Okay, so really have a think about how you can do this, okay? How you can do that. It's a really great way to you know find authenticity in the content that you're putting out there. And just be comfortable with being uncomfortable because, 
you know, if you're worried about putting yourself out there, just remember that someone who's reading what you're putting out there is in your in those shoes or has been through the same thing okay so sharing these stories won't alien alienate you in any way it actually brings people together it helps you to build trust in your community okay don't be afraid to be vulnerable really don't be afraid to be vulnerable and to feel a little bit uncomfortable with what you're putting out there I promise you, you'll probably, you'll surprise yourself. You re really will surprise yourself with the results that you get and the engagement that you get when you start to share these stories with your community. Okay. And then lastly, the last thing I want to talk about in, uh, for principle three is to inject your personality. Okay. Inject your personality. Please do not skip this part. <laughs> um, People don't want to read robotic or dry copy, okay? So don't think that in order to be taken seriously, you have to write proper. <laughs> so your spelling should be correct. It should be on point, of course, and you should have a good grasp of grammar. But don't be afraid to, you know, add a little bit of your pizzazz into your copy because that's what keeps people coming back for more is your pizzazz, is your personality. Okay, so finally, guys, I want you to expand on your piece of copy by injecting some of your personality. So that exercise that we've been doing that you're going to take away from, from today's training, I want you to finally now look at it again and add some of your personality and add maybe a, a personal story or some aspect of vulnerability or the words that you use in real life so that you can create copy that's more authentic as well okay so that's the last part so any questions from today uh, we've got a thank you from yoga retreat malaga thank you very much for watching and sticking to the end really really happy that you've um that you've stayed with me and over in the facebook group um joe says yes absolutely hard to do it with words sharing but not sharing too much exactly and sula in bali hello sula says absolutely agree perfect well i really hope that um this has been useful for you today i really hope it's been useful um i do have a lot more to share around uh, copywriting and writing successful copywriting in your business um which i have i actually have a mini training on this called copywriting success where i go into more detail and provide you with a toolbox to create um, effective copy in your business and this mini training is in the success class Club, which is a monthly membership um, membership club for yoga entrepreneurs so that's you guys and um, if you want to take a look at the success club I, if you're on Instagram I have the link in my bio so you can go and check it out there and if you're on Facebook I will add the um, the link to the success success club now it's a really affordable way to learn with me every single month and i'm giving you guys for watching me today i'm giving you guys 50 percent off your first month using the promo code 2019 success so i'm just going to write that into uh instagram now 2019 success so you can get your first month for 12 dollars and you can cancel at any time. There are already 13, um, 13, um, 13 trainings in there. So you can go in, take a look at all of the trainings, start learning some of these essential business and marketing skills that you really need to up level your yoga business. And yeah, every single month there's a new training in there. There's also a live coaching call and or Q&A session with me in our private Facebook group for Success Club members. Um, the February training is around, is all go, is going to be about um, setting up a Facebook group. So how you can set up a Facebook group successfully in your yoga business. Um, there's all sorts of trainings in there around email marketing, blogging, social media, and so on. So I really encourage you to go and check it out and also to get obviously the rest of the training around copywriting if you want to learn more about that as well. Okay, so I'm going to add all of the links. I uh, hope to see you next week and thank you for joining me everybody. See you all soon. Have a beautiful day. Bye. Take care. Take care.